today has been a really good day so far. I had some good family time in the morning, answered some emails, and started editing my new uh, doc series for the channel. And I, I'm really excited about that one. It's going to be about different creators and kind of the behind the scenes of their lives. I guess kind of like what it's actually like being them. And it's really fun to work on that one because nobody's telling me what to do, which is kind of fresh. I haven't really worked on too many documentaries where somebody else wasn't telling me what to do. This one's all, all me, no sponsors, no nothing, just whatever I want to do with it. But now it's time for a break and I'm not really much into coffee, but I am into bubble tea. It's delicious. I'm addicted to this stuff nowadays. So good. to go meet up with a friend from Sweden who's here in Toronto uh, to go watch a documentary but we don't have tickets yet hopefully we can get tickets before I go though I wanted to talk about an article I read last night that was on F stoppers it's a blog about photography called uh, the article was called Canon's dramatic drop in sales is a sign of something much more ominous for photographers I'll read a little bit from the article the Japanese giant just revealed that sales of their DSLR and mirrorless cameras have fallen by almost 20% in the first quarter of 2019, prompting them to reduce their sales forecast for the year by year over 14%. The company's new report also explains that Canon expects the camera market to continue to contract for the next couple of years, a trend they attribute to the ever increasing performance of smartphones, trade friction between China and the US, the depreciation of the Euro, and economic slowdowns in China and Europe are also factors. And first off, before I even get into this, I just wanna say I'm a big fan of Canon cameras. I'm filming on a Canon EOS R right now, and 90% of the time, at least, I'm filming on some sort of Canon camera. And for me, this confirms something that I've been thinking about Canon over the last couple of years, and that's that they're not innovating fast enough right now, at least compared to the other companies. When I started, Nobody was using Panasonic or Sony for video. Everybody was using Canon, especially when the Canon 5D Mark II came out, everybody was using Canon. And now you look at it and a ton of people use Sony's. Panasonic has just gone skyrocketing with their GH5s and all those. Canon used to be the way to go and now there's a whole bunch of different camera companies that you could use. Canon hasn't really done anything significant since the 5D Mark II, which was, that was like a, that was a revolutionary thing when the 5D Mark II with 24 frames per second, 1080, uh, that was a beast of a camera back then. So Canon sales are going down. They're tanking right now. And I don't think it's just because of smartphones and the other uh, business terms they were using. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that people are using other camera companies now, not just Canon. They're using Sony's, Panasonic's. There's so many good cameras out there now. And the reason why I don't think that smartphones are taking over is because companies like Sony, their sales are going up right now. Not all the camera companies, their sales are going down. It seems to be that Canon is struggling right now. It looks like Canon is losing market share. And at the same time, I think there's another trend that's happening and that is that photographers are turning into videographers. Traditionally, uh, it's been way harder to get into videography than photography. It's been really, really expensive. If you wanna be a videographer, you'd have to spend so much money until more recently. And that's why there's been way more photographers, I think at least, than videographers. But now, videography is very accessible compared to what it used to be. You can get a really, really, really high quality camera for under $1,000 and you have all these different ways of distributing your video nowadays. Back in the day, there was basically just TV, I guess, that's it. Nowadays, there's the internet, YouTube, you can distribute your video to millions, billions of people for absolutely free. You can actually get paid to do it. So what does this have to do with Canon going down? Well, I think Canon has really focused on that photography group. They've made some of the best photography cameras and I still think they have the best photography cameras, 
but they've kind of been neglecting the video side of things and I don't think they've realized this massive shift from photography to now videography. I even remember talking to some people at Canon about some of the things that would be really great for videographers and I feel like they kind of brushed some of those things off because photography was still the main focus and, and probably still is right now. But other camera companies like Sony and Panasonic, I feel like they've put way more effort into their video side and, instead of the photography. Yeah, the photography is still decent on those cameras, but their video side, they've really been innovating. And I think they've been seeing this trend of photographers moving into videography and just more people in general being interested in videography. Whereas Canon has been really conservative with their video features, not to mention they just have so many products that they're always scared of cannibalizing another product if they put too much into one. So I, I really think that they need to streamline things a little bit so that they don't always have to be worrying about cannibalizing one camera because this camera might have too much so they have to kind of dumb that one down. I feel like they've been really, really conservative with their video features. It is worrisome though, in that same article they were saying, um, or Canon was saying, there is a portion of the market that will remain, talking about the, the cameras, the report states, serving the needs of professionals and advanced amateurs. However, it continues, at the same time, we are taking measures to shift our business focus toward B2B, business to business, expanding our business sphere to automotive and industry use. So it kind of sounds like Canon is slowing down some of that consumer camera market and that innovation in that space. And, and that to me is worrisome because I, I really like Canon cameras. I hope Canon makes a way better cameras in 2019 and 2020 so that, you know, I get to use better cameras. And also it just creates competition. Sony has to do better, Panasonic has to do better, uh, Nikon has to do better. It creates a lot of competition. So I, I really hope that Canon isn't kind of uh, slowing things down and, and just being okay with letting go of some of that market share. I hope this isn't the beginning of the end for Canon cameras. I don't think it is. I don't think this is all doom and gloom. I think we probably live in the best era ever for creators. There's just so many tools for us to use and so many ways to distribute our videos and photos, Instagram, YouTube. There's just so much that we get to use nowadays. I really do think this is the golden era of creating content. There are so many opportunities and so many ways that you can be a filmmaker and actually make a living from it, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. I almost launched this into the water. That, that would have been bad. Okay, I gotta get back and uh, go meet up with Andre and watch a documentary. Man, I love documentaries. They're just so good. I do genuinely hope though that the, the people at Canon are like, okay boys, let's have a meeting. How can we make the best possible camera in 2019, 2020 and just make some beast cameras? Really just for selfish reasons because I, I want the best camera to use, uh, if I'm being honest. But I am rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. For you guys, that was just like a couple seconds. For me, it was 50 minutes of traffic. Okay, gotta go find Andre now, I'm a little late. I don't come downtown too often anymore, but man, there's so many people here. I don't know how people vlog with all these people around. I'm in the right place. How's it going, man? Good. All right, it's time to hopefully watch a doc. Are we gonna make it? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have tickets? No. It's a, you see this rush? This line? Do you think we will get one? Nah. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad, but. We'll have to find something else to do, I guess. <laughs> Meh, food's good too. We got tickets. We're seeing Gaza. I'll tell you how it is. All right, documentary was, was pretty good. It's time for sushi. Playing the next documentary with Andre. I'm gonna go now. Really hungry.
Matt, can you speed that up in post just to make it look a little bit more extreme? You know? Ah! <laughs> 